Hi, my name is Diane Marchiano. I'm a nurse anesthesiologist here at Top Aesthetics. I'm going to speak with you about preparation for anesthesia. One of the first things that we're going to ask you to do, and this is way in advance, is to not eat or drink for about eight hours before surgery. We need to know what your drug allergies are. You need to be aware of what medications have to be stopped. There are certain medications that if you continue, uh, it will cause cancellation of the surgery. One of those medications is fenteramine. Another, if we ask you to stop smoking, you have to stop smoking. If you do not stop smoking, that can also cause cancellation of your surgery. After we have assessed all of this, talked to you about this, I'm gonna to need to know your surgical history and uh, any of the health uh, history that you might have that would affect your anesthetic. After we've made our introduction and received all this information, I will talk with you about general anesthesia. You will be receiving a general anesthetic for your procedure. General anesthesia means you go completely off to sleep. After you're asleep, and I, and I preface, after you are asleep, we do place a tube in your mouth that sits in the trachea. It is in only during surgery, and the purpose of that tube is to protect your airway because when you are asleep, your protective reflexes, they also go off to sleep. What you can expect from that tube, it will be removed before you're fully awakened, and it will probably give you a little bit of a sore throat you get rid of the sore throat by drinking ice water uh, and hydrating. It's usually gone within the first 24 hours. With general anesthesia, a lot of times people do experience nausea and vomiting. I will need to know if you get motion sickness. If you get motion sickness, I'm gonna put a little patch behind your ear. You can wear it for up to three days. It's very effective. Um, if after surgery, you do experience nausea. It's really important that you let the nurse know because we do not want you getting sick to your stomach after uh, having anesthesia. The nurse will give you additional medicine to take care of that. We will also give you medication for pain. Some of it is narcotic based, some is non-narcotic based. We do uh, a sparing technique of narcotic because you do have to be awake and we want you safe in order to leave here. Um, and with narcotics, as I'm sure most people know, it can have some uh, bad effects on uh, people and causing them to not, uh, to, to have a respiratory depression. So let the nurse know if you're having pain, you can have pain medicine, but we do need you fully awake. I hope you found this helpful and you have a better understanding what to expect for, uh, from having general anesthesia. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel or see us on topaesthetics.com. Thank you.